The date is February 26th, 2022, and I'm a student at Princeton. I got COVID, so I'm in isolation housing for a few days. The cool thing is that exactly two years ago today, I was doing this. I was giving a TED talk. Can I say that that was a cool thing? Okay, that was a cool thing. Honestly, I don't know how I did that. I feel feel very far away from that girl. I mean, maybe it's the isolation and my doing absolutely nothing on this bed for, like, a long time. But... It's like... I have this feeling that that confidence, that buzz, and that glow... It's kind of lingering around me somewhere that I can't reach right now. Somewhere either really far away from me or really deep within me. I don't know. I don't know. It's gotta still be there, right? (sighs) Luckily, the month turned. March came and I got out of isolation. It was so nice to walk to my classes, to study in East Pine, to just be a human again, and um, a person studying here. I love these dining hall oranges. As it goes, as soon as I got out of isolation, some of my friends went in. I made this mural for Jill. I use post-it notes, and on each day of her five-day isolation, I stuck a new part of the drawing onto the outside of her window. Sometimes I think it's easier to be there for others than for yourself. In January, we ate dim sum in my room at midnight. I spilled orange sauce on my white rug. It left a stain that I seemed to not be able to find anymore. What is the image of a girl sitting at her desk to you? Can I tell you something? I don't know exactly who you are, but if you're still here, if you're watching, there's gotta be some part of you that cares or is interested, right? You are the watcher. 
It doesn't really make much sense, but... I think the act of filming myself and making these videos is deceiving. It might make it seem like I have this self-assurance, or like I enjoy having the camera on me. Um, there's this walk I like to take across the bridge by this little canal off of Carnegie Lake, Lake Carnegie. I just walk because I love it and will walk for however long I feel I want. On this day in early March, I walked and I filmed myself and talked really excitedly about this video endeavor and how I'm so excited. But when I sat down at my desk later that night to look at the footage, I couldn't stand it. I declared all the footage unusable and my aspiration futile. I was, I was debilitated and I was crushed that my self-perception was keeping me from making anything of anything. You are the watcher and I am telling the story but I am the watcher too. I just want to tell stories. I just want to tell stories. Can I come back to this later? I'm gonna talk about a rocket ship now. When I walk around campus, I still can't believe I'm here. I send my parents photos of everything. Sometimes it feels funny to do these modern, casual, super Gen Z stuff like drinking boba on this historical ground, lol. I saw an airplane. Let me tell you a story. After winter break, coming back from Tokyo, we took a layover flight through Chicago. Just as we approached Lake Michigan, I saw a rocket. A rocket. A rocket ship. I thought it was another plane at first, but no. It traveled upwards. Up, up, up. I had never seen a rocket before. It was so cool. Why can't I just be a cool thing? Like a rocket launching into space. Something you see and that's on its own velocity. When I look at that rocket, I don't know what it looks like. I can't see that close and I do not care. The rocket's body is too small in the sky. It matters too little. Instead, I only care to see that it moves and that I've never seen something like that before and that this is such a cool thing. Hello. 
Uh, I'm back here again. Um, I'm just gonna talk and see what happens. When I think about my Princeton video kind of series or this moment in time and this video being the first of its kind, part of me thinks like, wow, like why, why does my first Princeton video have to be about my lack of self-confidence in this moment in time? Can't I just record campus and put music on and be done with it? And I asked myself that question, but I genuinely don't think I can. Or if I did, that video, you know, of pretty pictures and music over it, it would mean nothing. Because it's the story that matters to me that makes um, a video or anything really worthwhile. And the story is the truth. Um, I think that I just have something about keeping it all with me, whether through taking photos or journaling. I just, I want to, I want to hold things close. And making these videos is like kind of curating all that, all that nostalgia that kind of overwhelms me into something tangible or something sensible, Wait. if that makes sense. My goal in making these videos is to, is to capture all the moments of time, not all but whatever I can, and to make a portrait of who I am. Uh, the question can be asked, and I've asked myself too, isn't this a really vulnerable thing? It's like I'm throwing myself into this deep digital void. Here's the thing though, here's, here's the thing. That girl in the pink suit giving a TED talk, the girl who, who was me, but who I don't, really, I don't really recognize anymore, she was on a stage in front of 600 some people telling her story. As it stands, this channel has 600 some subscribers. And so I'm thinking maybe, maybe this, this, this willingness to tell truthful stories and the willingness for vulnerability is the part of that girl, that version of myself that still dwells inside of me. The stories of my everyday life are the stories I can tell right now. In the future, I hope to tell larger stories on larger stages, but for now this is it. And most of all, uh, I'd like to think that someone watching and listening, um, that that person can resonate and can feel a little less alone in their thoughts. Because when I think about it, you know, life is something that we're all doing. And maybe it doesn't need to be all secret. You can go through it together kind of thing. And finally, um, to the matter of confidence, next year, when I sit on this bench, I'd like to think that I'll feel a lot differently. Editing this video has pushed me to remember that I'm a lot more than a body being perceived. I'm a student, a friend, I'm a mind with thoughts. And I'm an 84-year-old woman looking back on this video and seeing all the naivete, the, the vanity, the passions, and, and the sincerity of her 18-year-old self. That's the thing. This is just the moment in time. The birds have gone home, all flying somewhere. Uh, yeah, this is my story. Where will it go from here?